Now with the analog synthesis, I find it to be rather warm and there's almost a kind of biological quality to it because you're shaping electricity, so there's something very fundamental and elemental about that uh, shaping of the electricity. The current coming from the wall, you know, 110 volts, taking that and shaping it, contouring it, and turning it, bending it, swelling it, attenuating it.
I think experimentation is very important with this kind of music. And that's basically how you get to a song, is by experimenting with all the different um, filters that you have, the way that you can shape the electric you know, current that comes in and through the machine. You know, with the, the nature of the electricity, with the nature of the, the synthesis, it doesn't necessarily sound mathematical and doesn't feel mathematical playing it. Right. It's just a way to organize this something that's quite amorphous. And even without touching the synthesizer, it just being turned on, it is perhaps very in a very minuscule way, it is changing. It's just drifting at all times. This is an organic, or as I said before, like a kind of biological quality to it that um, both of us tap into and, and that, that that's the the thing as well, like a like a life form, there's you know, it's very fragile and things could things could go out of hand, things could, could fall apart and it's our kind of job as well as writing the songs to keep it keep the thing kind of from straying too far. In his case, the vocals are very staccato, they're like rhythm based. Mm -hmm. And because there's two vocals often going on together in the songs between him and I I tend to be more, my voice is more in, instrumental in that it's, yeah, more like a on the clocked instrument. Like we imagine in our heads like these two columns running side by side. And sometimes running into one another or, you know, or like meanings colliding or, you know, drifting apart. So uh, that's often a, uh, both our lyrics now that we're talking about the text don't necessarily correspond. They're housed in the in the song, but then there's there's <clears throat> uh, at times a disparity, and at times happy some happy accident, something perhaps a little uh, kind of aleatory about the the textual um, coming together. Uh, I think that when we started with this music. Uh, it's fair to say that music was in crisis. I think you know, it was important to maybe go back in time a little bit to uh, excavate to excavate some uh, obscure and forgotten musical genre. And not just a genre, but a process. A process and also a culture. And because we were rebelling in some ways against the music of the time, which was really in crisis and going nowhere, uh, this felt like maybe this could be the music of the future or the way ahead out of this crisis, some sort of hope out of yeah, the yeah, there's a uh, nihilistic situation that music was in at that time.